Good morning, church. Today is October 1st, Thursday. We are on day three of reading plan better together. Can you believe that? Oh, we are on October and we are going toward the end of this year. Time was so fast and then time flies. I hope and pray that keep yourself healthy and safe. Uh, the scripture for today is coming from Romans 12, chapter, uh, chapter 12, verse 15. 12, verse 15. I will read it with a trans, uh, ESV translation. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Amen. This is God's word. So when we experience suffering in life, we need think that we need people to weep with us. Uh, this is a, the like, text that tells us that, clearly says that, that's the reason why God allows us to have the church, this community. As a part of church, we are supposed to support each other and we comfort each other. However, we need something to support and comfort others. Empathy. You know what? Empathy is the cap uh, capacity for sharing vicariously the feelings and emotions of others. Our tendency is to be jealous when others rejoice and to pass by when they mourn. Uh, God's way is to enter into the joys and sorrows of those around us. We need each other to comfort and share their pain, pains in the love of Jesus Christ. So church, we are church, right? We are to exist for each other. We have to be for each other. Our pastors, one of the, my favorite pastors, he goes like this, the love other is to meet their need, not like just saying, I love you. Sometimes we feel like we just love people, so then go there and I love you, I care for you, just verbally, it's not enough. Because love is not love until the other feels loved. So we doing something, we take action. We are part of church and we can share others' burdens and sorrows like Jesus did. So what do the Romans 12, 15 look like in our life, in our Christian life? How can we make this verse real in our life? We are going to go through many things that happens to us which are that uh, we wouldn't be able to be, uh, expect to uh, what they will happen in our life, such as family loss, cancer, pain, job loss, etc. The fact is that some of these things are going to happen to us. They are, they are inevitable. There is no exception. We are going to go through tragedy. We are going to have time to let our family member go to heaven first without our preparation, our preparing. So you are going to experience heartache. We do not have to go through all by ourselves. The true fact is that we have our God-given give, brothers and sisters in our community. We can share our pains with others in Christ Jesus. And in the others, people, also including us, including me, we exist to be for each other. This is the way we can show we are follow of Jesus Christ. Jesus says, if you love one another, they, the other side, the other side, the other people can know you are my, my follower. We can compassionate each other because we are first compassionated by Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus dwelling in us? Who is He? Uh, he is our High Priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Hebrews 4.15 He is High Priest who doesn't know our weaknesses, our pain. He sympathizes us with our weaknesses. We have Jesus Christ who can sympathize with our weaknesses. So we will be helped by Jesus Christ who is, who is dwelling in us when we sympathize others' pain and comfort them. We church 
is God's answer to despair. We exist to share our life with others. Now is the time to find the, uh, the people who will support you through life, who will rejoice with you in your victories and weep with you in your trouble. Just go and, go and find the one who can help you. And also, I really challenge you to be the one who can help others who are looking for help. I hope and pray that whoever comes to you, whoever comes to me and, and you and I, ask you for help. I hope and pray that I encourage you to be the one who has Jesus' compassion and love on them. Take action. Go and meet their need. Do what Jesus Christ did to you so that you com your compassion and your help can reflect on Jesus Christ to others so they can realize, they identify you, you are a follower of Jesus Christ. Please be our Lord Jesus Christ, His follower today. From now on, be His follower. Help others. Go and follow what Jesus Christ did to you first. I hope and pray that this is a challenge for you, is that go and Go and find anyone who is looking for help. Be the first one like Jesus Christ did to us. And go help them. Be with them. Be joyful with them. And weep with them. This is the way we can show Jesus Christ's love uh, to others. And that's the, uh, that's the kind of reason we, are, we exist as a church for, uh, for someone who is going through hard times. Be with them. Be the first one to help them, comfort them, and support them. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much. And in this passage gives us a lot, tells a lot. We want to be the first one who can help others, who is looking for someone who can help them. Lord, so we need each other. So also we can be the one of them to support others and comfort others. Please help us to be the one who can help others like Jesus Christ. You did to us first. Love them. Love is not a love until someone feels loved. So love takes actions. Please help us to be, go take action to others. Someone who needs help, go help them with our resources so that they can feel loved by others. So that our church is the answer, your answer to despair. So people feel they are not alone. They are loved by God through your people. We want to be your people. Use us and, and strengthen others and give hope others through us, Lord. Thank you, God. We love you. In the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.